Hi there, Chris Mawson here. So today I'm going to show you how to export a Tecla model into Revisto. So we've got a couple of models open here. On the left is the Revisto model. I've already exported a IFC file into here. And then on the right, we have the Tecla model. So I'm going to show you today the direct export. And I'll, I'll touch on the IFC export as well. There, there's subtle differences between the two, so we'll just touch on those. So let's expand our Tecla. So the first thing you'll need to ensure that you do is have Tecla installed on your machine before you install Revisto. If you don't, you'll have to uninstall Revisto and then reinstall it after you've installed Tecla. Otherwise, you won't get the, the app appearing in the um, ribbon up here. So we're just going to select our Revisto tab up here, and then I'm just going to hit the, the plugin button there. Let's just drag that on. There we go. So we're just going to concentrate on export to Revisto. So we'll select that button here, and then it will prompt us to, to link as a as an updated model or append as a new model. So this is a new model, so we'll, we'll just hit OK. If you need to relink, and just hit that button there and then specify the model. So we'll, OK, we're just going to use base point and OK that. So same as all the other apps in the, the other software, we just need to choose a, a view. So we'll pick this one here. And then these are the different export options that you have. So we're going to do direct export for this. And then the next one, I've just got sheets on. So I've, I've just got them all selected at the moment. And we'll leave it at that. So the, the one thing that you need to ensure when you're doing the direct export is that you, you've actually selected everything in the model that you want to export. So all I'm doing here is just selecting everything in the model. Just make sure you've got all on. And then we'll hit the, the export button here. So the next one is going to prompt me saying you've basically got some elements selected. What do you want to do? So I'm going to export the selection and then OK that. That's now complete. So let's jump into Visto. So this is the, the the direct export model that we've just brought in. So the the main difference between the IFC export and the um, direct export is with the IFC export, it doesn't retain the assemblies which are exported from Tecla. So for the likes of, of this, brace bay here um, that is how it would get fabricated likewise this beam here it comes through with the assembly with the the cleats and the end plate on whereas if i load in the ifc model let's Let's see that you actually get the individual elements rather than the assemblies, which is depending on how you, you're going to clash test in um, Revista might not be a, a huge issue, but you could end up with several clashes, um, which is basically the same as of the same assembly. So it's just something to bear in mind. Okay, so 2D sheets. So we exported all of those. So um, the export from Tecla does support the location. So if I open up the sheets, hit the house button, it will overlay the drawing on the model, which is super useful. Go back in. So it works on obviously floor plans, elevations, and such. Just 
just to show you a few different examples. Okay, so let's jump back into Tecla. I'll just show you the, the IFC export, exactly the same as the direct export, but you just choose a different drop, drop down. So in here, export type, choose the IFC4 or 2x3, and it'll give you those um, subtle differences in, in the model there. Okay, thanks for your time.